Hello, everybody, and welcome. We know that marketing is an essential part of any business as it's going to help increase awareness for new clients and keep your existing customers connected and engaged. But for salons, marketing is also a great way to stay in front of your clients in between their visits to help reduce client loss, no shows, and it's going to help prevent your clients from wandering into salons down the street. My name is Lori Obzinski. I'm the Director of Client and Partner Relations for Rosie Salon Software. We have Elisa here today, who's going to be helping us to launch a couple polls for you, as well as I'm excited to be joined with Sam Sherwin, who is the Vice President of Partner Success for Salon Interactive. And today we're going to talk about the importance of marketing and why it's essential for your business. Hi, Sam. Thanks for joining. Hey, Lori. Thanks so much for having me. So I know that our viewers can't see you today because you're actually going to be screen sharing and doing some demonstration on the actual platform. And I'm going to turn my camera off as well. But can you tell us a little bit about Salon Interactive and what it does? Absolutely. So Salon Interactive is an e-commerce and marketing platform that offers automated and mass email marketing for salons and spas. Great, and our attendees may recognize the name the Salon Interactive from the Salon Interactive tab that's on their Rosie dashboard. It's up there on the top next to the support tab where Salon Interactive is integrated into your salon software. So you already have quick access to the features that we're going to be discussing today. So Client Connect marketing tools are designed to be easy for busy salon professionals. That way you don't have to hire a professional marketing person or an entire team to do it. So for example, with automated emails, you just set it and forget it. It's super simple to send a birthday greeting, thank a new client, even remind them to make their next appointment without even thinking about it. It's all automated in the system and it happens behind the scenes. With mass emails, you can create email communications ahead of time using one of our easy templates and schedule announcements, promotions, holiday greetings, even newsletters when it makes the most sense for you and your business. Right, so instead of having no communication for four or six weeks in between those client services, salons can actually use the platform to help make their clients feel special and stay engaged. Absolutely. So ultimately, you want your clients to be your most loyal clients. So why email marketing specifically? So email typically has a higher engagement rate than any other medium. According to HubSpot, 78% of marketers have seen an increase in email engagement over the last 12 months. As of 2021, there are 4 billion daily email users, with 64% of small businesses using email marketing to reach their customers. More than 306 billion emails are sent and received each day, with nearly 22% of all email campaigns open with the, within the first hour of sending. Optin Monster claims that 99% of email users check their inbox every day, with some checking up to 20 times a day. Of those people, 50% of consumers check their email first thing in the morning. All right, Sam, so tell us what some of the best practices are with email marketing. So first, you're going to want to make sure that you have your current email addresses for your clients. Without an active email address, you can't effectively market to them using the platform. Second, you wanna have a clear message and call to action. For example, if your objective is to remind clients to pre-book their appointments, be sure you have a path to do that. You'd wanna include a link to your online scheduling or list your phone number if you want them to call to make the booking. It's also important to always brand your emails to your business. That way your clients clearly recognize where the emails are coming from and you're more likely to pay attention to your messaging. One way to brand your emails is to use your salon logo in the email header and your business information in the footer. Just make sure you use a large enough file so that your logo looks good. It's easy to add. Just go to Client Connect and Email Header. Drag and drop your logo into the box and save. It's really that simple. Next, you'll add your salon location and contact information for the footer. You can even add your website, social media links if you wish. Just remember to use proper capitalization punctuation, and address formatting. All right, so once the salon has its headers and footers set up, uh, you're gonna show us what next. Sure, so then you could just start sending emails. 
So let's begin with automated emails. There are essentially six types of emails that you can automate based on your specific needs. So if you go into Client Connect, Auto Email Campaigns, you could see you could wish your clients a happy birthday. You could use drivebacks to re-engage clients missing in action. You could send a due back notice for those who need to make their next appointment. Send a thank you, which is great for new clients. Remind clients who buy retail that they may be running low. And if you've enabled your free online store with us, you can automatically thank clients for their online purchase. So then what are some of the best practices with those automated emails? To set your timing. For example, here you'll notice that the birthday, um, the birthday greetings are set up for zero days. What that means is that the emails will deploy on each client's birthday, assuming you have that information in their file. The thank you emails are typically set for one day after the most recent visit, so the salon experience is still top of mind. For due back emails, you want to think through what timing makes sense to send these out. These are for regular clients who may have simply forgotten to make their next appointment. Usually around 35 days may be a good place to start. So every client who has not booked their next appointment will receive an e email reminder this many days since their last visit. And then drive backs are, are typically for those clients that have gone missing for a while. These communications, um, they're a little bit more along the lines of we miss you versus just book your next appointment, but you'll need to decide what timing makes the most sense for you and your business. Otherwise, the default is just gonna be 60 days. Okay, so can you show us how easy these are um, as automated emails to set up? Sure, let's take a look at this do back one. So you're gonna click the plus sign on the right. You're gonna choose from standard templates and you can either choose the blank template um, to design from scratch or use one of the existing ones. I'm gonna choose from one of the existing ones. You can always add more copy or imagery if you wish, or just keep it as it is and keep things clean and simple. So here you're gonna notice that there's a 35 day default for when you're gonna send that. You could change it at any time you want. You can also select use my header and use my footer, which are going to personalize these to your salon. Um, you're gonna activate it when you're ready and you're gonna click save. I always recommend sending a test to yourself just so that you could see exactly what it looks like and then click done. So I'm gonna quickly preview that. And you could see here that I've added my header, I've added my footer, and I have my due back appointment message that's gonna go to all my clients automatically. So Sam, how are mass emails different and what's involved with those and when would a salon want to send those? Sure, so unlike automated emails where you set it up once and forget about it, mass emails are used as needed and can deploy to any or all of your client list. Let's say you change your business hours or your landlord is doing construction on your parking area, you'll definitely wanna let your clients know about anything that affects them and their salon visit. So you would create a one-time email and schedule it to send whenever you want, in this case, to your entire clientele. So how would a salon create a mass email? Sure, so in Client Connect, you would choose mass email. You could, um, choose, then you choose new campaign. You could toggle it to either design it yourself or choose a standard template. Um, I'm going to choose this template for right now um, and click get started. So you can change the campaign name. So I'm gonna call this campaign uh, free haircut with a color service. You're then gonna need to create an email subject so I'm gonna call this email um, free haircut for first time color clients. I'm gonna use my header and my footer and you have the option here to personalize this as well. So I'm going to have dear and then I want it to pull the first name 
of my clients when it sends. Then I'm going to go ahead and click see. Again, I'm gonna send myself a test just to make sure that I like it. And that will come into my email. And then when I go back in, I could see here that the campaign that I just created is the first one here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my clients. And Sam, this is one of the great things about having Salon Interactive integrated into Rosie is that those clients are already there in the system. So simply selecting what segment of the client list you want to, see, to send your campaign to and then just deploy it when ready. Exactly. So in this instance, I'm gonna choose all clients and hit save. It's then gonna show me my client list and I'm going to click done. Then I'm just gonna click on this, launch this campaign and choose the day and time that I wanna send this out. So what's the best time to send out emails? So in general, mornings typically have better open rates and for consumers, Fridays seem to be the best. So I'm gonna set this for next Friday at do 6 a.m. So I can make sure that it is the first thing that they see in their inbox when they check their email. Awesome. And then are salons able to track the results of these campaigns? Um, yes, they are. Um, and that is in the campaign tracking button. Um, so to see how a specific campaign did, you use the campaign tracking feature and you click through the campaign and you can see what was delivered to whom what clients opened or clicked on their emails. That's that's great, Sam. Thank you so much for sharing that. Okay, Absolutely. so we're gonna actually take a quick poll. So Elisa, if you can um, um, hand that screen back over to me and launch our poll, please. Yes, indeed. Okay, I'm gonna launch the poll. So take a look at your calendar, or at your screen. And we'll give you about 30 seconds to answer. So we're looking to know, what do you think is a good open rate for marketing emails? And then Alisa, while we're waiting for that, can you give me the screen back, please? Yes, I will. Oh, I have to, um, I'll end the poll momentarily and then I'll hand that back to you. Okay. Great, thank you for, oh, thank you for answering. Okay, great. We got a great response. So I'm gonna go ahead and close the poll in about five seconds. All right. Okay, great. Thank you for the responses. So about 52% about of us thought that 25% uh, was a great open rate. 30% uh, thought 35 was a pretty standard open rate. And 17% thought 45%. Okay, there you go, Lori. We can't hear you, Lori. You are muted. All right, we're back yeah. in. So <laughs> Sam, what is the actual good open rate? So interestingly enough, a 15% open rate with a 1% click-through is actually considered good for most industries. 
However, we found much higher open rates, like 45 to 51%, with an average of 1.15 click-through rate on Client Connect. That higher open rate is really attributed to the stronger bonds between salon clients and their favorite stylist or salon. The higher rates are proof that your clients want to hear from you. You are, after all, their beauty experts. All right, so for those that are interested in email marketing, the Client Connect features can be purchased individually or bundled as the premium package at a discounted price. If you want to activate Client Connect email marketing and bundle it with your Rosy subscription, you're going to go to Activate under Client Connect in your Salon Interactive menu. You can view your options for automated email marketing, mass email marketing, and enhanced text message messaging through your Rosy account. Then you're going to scroll down to see pricing based on the number of service providers you have and check the appropriate boxes at the bottom of this page. Check the last box to confirm that you do understand that this is a paid feature and then you can hit enable client connect features when you're ready. And by the way, with Salon Interactive plus Rosie, you get a free online store. So Sam, can you tell us a little bit more about this? Absolutely. But before I do, I'd like to throw out a question out there for our viewers today. What do you think is the average percentage of clientele that purchases retail in the salon? Good question. Elisa, can you launch that poll for us? Oh, yep. Sorry, give me one second. I clicked the wrong button. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here's our second poll. I'll give you about 30 seconds to answer. I love it. It's always fun to see the response on the second question since people know how to do it now. <laughs> We're getting great <laughs> responses. Okay, I'll give you about another five seconds. Thanks for all the responses. All right, let's close that poll. All right, it's like um, we got we got uh, responses all over the board. This is terrific. About eight percent um, thought seventy five percent. That's wonderful. Seventeen percent thought about fifty percent of uh, folks are leaving with some retail. Thirteen uh, percent were at thirty three percent. 29% of us thought about 20% of clients are leaving with retail and 33% of us thought 8%. So um, that's, that's interesting. So on average, only 20% of salon clientele purchase, purchase their home hair care products at the salon. However, everyone needs shampoo and conditioner at the very least. So where are the other 80% buying their products? Some make their purchases at the grocery store or the drugstore. But there is a growing trend of consumers purchasing their professional hair care and styling products online. So instead of buying through Ulta or Amazon, why not let them buy it through you? That's where e-commerce comes in. So all Rosie users can enable their free online store through their salon interactive tab in their Rosie salon software. You just open a shop, make your store available to your clients, and then make personalized product recommendations which you should already be doing anyway as part of your service. There's no need for additional inventory or to ship any products. It's all done for you by your local distributor. Having an online store is a great way for anyone without retail to make commissions for online sales and will help those with inventory bring more attention to the brands you recommend, both in the salon and online. We've done studies of salons that carry retail and found that many have realized a bump in sales not just from the online sales, but then that also translates back to their in-salon sales. Many salon clients cite promotional emails for their awareness of what brands the salon carries, both in salon and on their online store. But the best part with an online store is that you can take back the sale from the big box and online retailers and keep revenue from professional products in the salon where they belong. So another free feature that comes with your online store is on behalf marketing. Can you tell us more about that? 
Of course. So on behalf of marketing is where your distributor or the brands that they carry notify your clients of any new products or special promotions. Everything from percentage off deals to free shipping, even gift with purchase is all sent through your salon's email to your clients on your behalf. It's a great way to promote your store and generate additional income without having to lift a finger. You just set your marketing permissions as you see fit and let it work for you on your behalf. So how does the salon get started with their e-commerce? Through their salon interactive tab inside their Rosie salon software. Just click through and you can set up your free online store in minutes. We've also got a comprehensive help center for 24 seven access to resources and tutorials to help you get set up and then drive sales. That's so wonderful, Sam. This is all really great information today. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you so much for the opportunity. All right, so now it's your turn. And if you haven't yet, you could take a quick moment to check out your Salon Interactive tab that's built right into Rosie Salon software. And you wanna consider adding email marketing to engage your clientele to build brand awareness and your client loyalty. I also want to share that we have a couple upcoming webinars for you if you're interested in joining. We have Go Clean and Green with Rosie on Monday, March 28th at 11 a.m. Eastern, as well as a Salon Owner's Guide to Building or Rebuilding Credit on April 11th at 11 a.m. Eastern. Um, but Elisa, do we want to open it up if there are any questions? Yes, we've got some great questions here. Um, and one of them applies to everyone, I think, and that is, will this session be recorded? Yes, this session is being recorded and will be sent to you in a follow-up email one hour after this session ends. So please, I know that um, this was a lot of really good information and in order to be, um, you know, um, I can't come up with a word. In order to be <laughs> conscious of your time, um, we kept it, we've tried to keep the webinars on the shorter side. So this did go fast. And um, a couple of people were asking about a recording. So thank you very much for that. And it will be recorded. Um, we do have several other questions here. Um, first one is, do I have to use one of the standard templates for mass emails? Nope, when you are signed up for Client Connect, you have the option of altering those or adding your own artwork into a blank template. Okay, great, thank you. Um, how do I get my employees involved in my online store? Um, so that's a great question. So in the system, there's actually a way that you can add users. So the salon client will have the opportunity to choose their stylist at the end of their purchase. Um, and what we've seen be super successful is, um, you know, adding Salon Interactive into your education with your employees um, so that you're talking about it. Some salons even have point people um, that are, you know, used as educational references for the rest of the team to go if they have any additional questions. Usually we see a lot of um, front desk um, employees kind of help the stylist making sure that they're talking about Salon Interactive and showing them how to recommend products. Great, thank you. Um, how do I know what distributors are in my area? So when you log into Salon Interactive, or sorry, when you're first signing up, um, it'll ask you for your zip code and that will populate what distributors are in your area. And then any distributor that you have an account with, you could choose that distributor, enter in your account number, and it'll let you select what brands are available for you. Great, thank you. Um, how do I open a shop? Um, it's really easy. You just go in your Rosie Salon software to the Salon Interactive tab. Great, great. And how do I communicate? How do I communicate my store? Can I do that via text message and emails? Um, yep, with Client Connect, you'll have um, the ability to email all your clients your store link, um, or if you sign up for SMS, you could text it to them. Um, we also recommend adding it to any of your social channels and even adding a Shop Now button to your website. Okay, great. 
Okay. Um, what percentage of Rosie salons have client connect? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. So we know that we, we have about 70% of clients use client connect. Okay, great. Great. All right. Um, without client connect, how does a salon e do email marketing? Um, I, they would have to sign up for another CRM program. And probably export their clients, right? And they don't have all right. that client data right. because Rosie tracks the services and the products and the, the service dates. Yep. So they yep. would purchase have everything through Salon Interactive. So the two systems talk to each other. So it makes the process really seamless. If you went and found another CRM um, component, one, you'd probably be paying more, and two, you'd have to do everything manually. Great, great. Um, oh, someone wants to see the, um, again, how to filter for auto email campaigns, but maybe um, I, maybe if we go back to that in a moment or, or the replay would probably be helpful for that question. So, um, Thank you for that question. Let's, um, if we've got time, we maybe can circle back to that, but let's get through some of these other questions. There's a lot coming in. Great Elisa, question. As well as if, if somebody has specific questions or wants to see something again like that, one, yes, it is in the replay, but the phone number that you can see on the screen right here um, goes to our Rosie support team. So if you have specific questions like that and want to see something uh, within their specific Rosie account, they can reach out to support as well for a demo. Wonderful. Okay. Thank you. Oh, uh, here's a question on shipping. So what is the shipping rate? Can you speak to that, Sam? Sure, so each distributor sets their own shipping rates. Um, some offer free shipping, some have a shipping threshold. You know, if a client purchases, let's say $50 or more, shipping is free. Um, so because the distributor is doing the actual shipping, um, the shipping rate is at their discretion. Great, thank you. Um, do we have a recommendation for the number of mass emails that should be sent out per month? Um, yeah, you know, we've seen a lot of success with, you know, really sending one a week just to kind of keep your clients engaged. Um, you know, you don't want to, you definitely don't want to overdo it, but you also want to make sure that they're keeping the salon top of mind. So whether you're sending out a message about your online store or any, you know, our updates, pretty much anything that is pertinent to your salon that they would need to know, make sure you send them an email about it. Great. Thank you. Is the shop link built directly into the pre-made templates for your salon? Is the shop link? Um, there are standard templates when you create your store. Um, and once you log into your dashboard, you will see your store's link that you could copy and share that out in your emails. Um, or add it as a shop now to your um, to your website. Great, thank you. Um, okay, another question on um, some specifics around the do back campaign. Again, um, our recommendation would be um, to please call and have support walk you through that um, specifically. Um, are there are there are there fees associated with the store and does the client pay shipping? Um, there the store is free. Um, and again, shipping is determined by the distributor. A lot of distributors don't charge shipping or have a threshold. If you spend a certain amount on products, that shipping is free. Um, but always ask the distributor that you've chosen what their shipping policy is. Great, thank you. Um, I've, uh, Cosmo Prof is not a distributor that's currently listed. Um, Sam, can you speak to um, Cosmo Prof specifically? 
Um, Cosmo Prof is not a distributor that we are currently integrated with, um, but that's not to say that they won't be in the future. Great. Thank you. Do you have templates? I think we kind of answered this, but it, 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 do we have templates already made? I lost the question. There's so many questions coming in. <laughs> it went to another page. Um, uh, you have uh, email templates already made to um, explain Client Connect and the store to clients. So I, I guess we just answered the store question. Yes, there are templates in there um, to announce your store to your to your clients. Oh, um, we have someone. Thank you. Um, I don't know if this person wants to be outed, um, but we've got someone who is um, saying that they did use another service outside of um, Rosie and Salon Interactive for marketing. They were paying over $100 a month and they had to work a lot harder. So a uh, little shout out for um, the ease of use for Rosie. Thank you and Salon Interactive. Um, can clients buy products in Salon and add it to their ticket? um i'm i'm not really sure how to answer that one um I, I don't know do you know what ticket they're referring to or is that a rosy question i i can i think i think i understand the question of can they shop on the e-commerce store while they're in the salon and i think that if they're in the salon it's ideal for them to make that purchase in the salon however if it's a product that maybe they don't carry on the shelves um and they want to purchase, then they would create the. T they would not create the ticket in Rosie. It would create the ticket when they uh, purchase that product through the online store. Great, thank you. Um, we, we've got a couple of other questions specific to some um, some uh, you know from people asking for um, specifics about products and specifics about distributors. Um, we'll go ahead and, um, you know, follow up with those folks, or you can always call um, our support line uh, for specific recommendations um, for distributors and specific products. Okay. And, and that so everyone knows when they do sign up and they enter in their zip code, it will populate all the distributors that are available in their area. And Very you can click on those distributors and see which brands they carry. Right, right. Okay, very good. Um, and if you have a, an account with them, and it, like Sam said, and it shows the brands that they carry, you can select spa only products. So um, if you are, are with a distributor and they have um, body care and spa care products, you don't have to carry hair. That was one of the questions. Um, mm. You as a salon or spa owner, choose which brands from that distributor that you want to recommend to your clients. Not everybody wants to um, offer all of the brands that are offered by a distributor. Either you don't know um, as much about a brand and, and therefore you don't want to recommend it, or maybe you are very uh, loyal to a particular brand and, and of course want to showcase that one. So that's a salon or spa um, decision that you get to make. Um, and, and most in, in our in our experience, most distributors um, that are boarded on um, the Salon Interactive platform um, do carry some spa and body care products. We always recommend that your online store should be a reflection of your salon so that you're choosing the brands that you carry in your salon that you use, that you love, that you would recommend. Um, and it helps make your store more identifiable to your clients. Very, very good. Thank you. That concludes the questions. Thank you for all those wonderful questions. Great. Thanks, Elisa. All right, Sam, thank you so much for all of this valuable information today. We hope that everybody got um, some really great information out of this. So thank you so much. And thank you to everybody for joining us today. Thank you so much. Have a Bye. Great day.